Hello everybody. Welcome to Connect, Learn and Grow with Janice. And today we are making something fun. We are making fireworks paintings. And so it's uh, something that is coming up with Canada Day getting near. And we are um, hoping that your child has seen fireworks before. If they haven't, you might want to show them on YouTube what it looks like so they know kind of what they're aiming for. Okay, so to begin, you need a piece of black construction paper, the larger size. And if you don't have that, then what you can do is use a piece of newspaper, just a half of one of the folded piece, and then, of course, paint it. And I painted it with this paint, which is just from the dollar store, and that works quite well as well. And so I used that to do my sample. So here is my sample of my fireworks painting. And you can see it's beautiful with all the different colors, so you will need lots of different colors of paint. And I don't know if you can see this, but there are sparkles on it, which makes it glow when you move it. So it's very, very pretty. And of course your children will like being able to paint over and over and over again. So that makes it fun as well. Okay, so then some other things you will need is scissors. Paper towel roll, probably need about three of them maybe. And then some kind of a foil plate to put um, different paints in. And so you can see how we've done this like that. Um, and I have different colors here. So I have yellow, orange, red, green, and purple. Okay, so those are all the ones that I have. All right, so to begin with, cutting the paper towel rolls. So you're cutting off chunks of it and then cutting in and making strips with it. So that then when you've got it all cut, it looks like that and then you just flatten it so that it looks like that. And then there's a little handle to hang on to and then you can put it into the paint. Okay, all right. And then of course you wouldn't want to forget your sparkles. I have different colors of sparkles. And if you're trying to contain your sparkles a bit, what you can do is do all your sparkles in a box. So sometimes that works really well to kind of, so they don't get all over the house and all over everybody who lives there. Okay, so to begin with, we get our paper ready. And um, I like to begin with the bigger ones first and then work my way up. Um, but you can certainly do whatever you would like to do. So I'm going to start with a really big one and get some paint on it and then put it on. And sometimes you can do it twice or three times, as many times as you want. Okay. And then I picked a smaller one. So I, I made about three different sizes um, of uh, fireworks. And then I'm going to finish with a, a red or a pink, depending on what you want to call it. Okay. So then I'll show you the result. So then I have different layers of paint and different colors. And then what I do is I put it into my box. And I shake sparkles on it so it will stick to it. So it looks pretty. So you can do different sh colors or you can do, each time you do a print, you can do sparkles and then a print and then sparkles, or you can do it all at the end like I've done. And there's your finished product. So then you just keep going around on your page and using different colors. So as I say, I have green, purple, pink, or red, orange, and yellow. And I really like to have the yellow last because it really shows up the best. So here's my green. And then I'm gonna put yellow this time. And then I'm going to put a little bit of orange, but I'm gonna use the really small ones. So sometimes you can cut the strips different sizes. So in this case, I cut them very, very skinny and it makes a really pretty burst of color. So I'm getting the paint on it and then putting it in the middle. Okay, all right. 
And again, shaking my sparkles on and then putting the excess in a box. And there's another one. And you can keep going and cover the whole page so that it's all covered. And then, and then lots of sparkles. So the sparkles will, of course, get caught in the paint and stick. And then you end up with something like this. So I hope you really enjoy doing fireworks painting and that you can make some beautiful pictures. And even if you can't be with your relatives right now for fireworks, maybe you can send them a picture in the mail of fireworks. Um, so good luck with, it, with that painting, and thanks for joining me. Bye.